superior. Uh, number 11. What are you doing interrupting my me time? And why is my bath water full of rose petals? Now we have Marluxia. Oh, Superior. I've got this little problem. It seems as though I've simply collapsed in a bed of rose petals in nothing but my very, very soft, open silk robe. If you wouldn't mind getting out of my lab and letting me get back to work. Oh, of course. Don't forget that report now, and do come up with creative tests, won't you? You wouldn't want that kind of responsibility in my hands. Oh, and it speaks. Well, that is simply adorable. We'll certainly have to keep it. Ah, uh, Pink, explain the appeal. Ah, uh, pink like a gentle sunset. Pink like delicate cherry blossoms. Pink is a wonderful, vibrant color. Unnecessarily and delightfully cruel. Oh, why thank you, though it is true. And now we have Lark Sheen. That's People taking pleasure in your pain. You want to know how it would start? With you on your knees praying to the porcelain god every damn morning. And then heartburn, constipation, and headaches set in. Before you know it, your stomach has distended outwards like a boa constrictor digesting a moose. And that little parasite keeps eating away at you, making demands of your appetite and hormones. Soon you're craving things only Xemnas or Zection would eat. Pickled egg pie and triple berry mushroom sorbet, crap like that! And then, in a massive explosion of pain and fluids, it will tear its way out of you, crying, clawing, and screaming like some freakish alien thing! Plus, your cooter will never be the same. You're trying to paper train. A uh, heartless? I didn't even know that they, you know. All right, just because I'm number 12 doesn't mean that I'm gonna let anyone step on me. Please. We all know that the rank in the organization is total bullshit. How many times do we have to tell you? Gregorian calendar, Gregorian calendar. Well, someone stole the panties. I mean, I'm only down to two pairs at this point. Oh, that thing? I don't know, but it's awfully cute. Are you two talking about me? And now we have the last organization member, Roxas. I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare! I heard Axel's got a stash of sea salt ice cream in his mattress. How about you go take a look? What? How long has it been there? Oh, I'm gonna kill that little Xemnas, Dimmick said that you could tell me about what happens when, er, two nobodies do the horizontal mambo. That's what Axel called it. So, you'll give up the Midal, Roxas? I... I... I'll try. Oh, Roxas. Oh, Axel. I told you what happened to the book, okay? Axel and I, um, oh, well... We were doing something, which is obviously none of your business. And then, you know, it just sort of caught on fire. <laughs> Has he always been this crazy, or is this something new? I have something to discuss. Vixen, put your test tube baby back in its place. Now we have Replicu. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should I? Been my name, Mr. Cellophane. I'm an angsty teenager with silver hair and an apron. That doesn't even make sense. 
When did we hire a maid? I must have been absent for that meeting. I'm not a maid! <sighs> they need to pay me more for this. Like with some of Naminé's toenail clippings or something. I want Naminé in a way that only a teenage boy can want someone. Please tell us more, Naminé. Well, I think Nobody you should... asked you. Fine! See if I remember to separate your underwear so it doesn't get all stretched out in the dryer. But my fried chicken will be ready in an hour, right? Yes, it will be. But maybe I'll forget the mashed potatoes. Quick, someone find a prom. So, Naminé. How did you get in here? Next up, we have Naminé. I don't wanna be like someone, You know what? I'm tired of taking everyone's crap. That's nice, little girl. The adult in the answering machine are talking now. What, what are you doing? No. Let's right this wrong immediately, Naminé. Okay, anything you say. I'm just going to take my crayons over here now. No, Naminé, come back here. We must join together in divine sisterhood to fight against the oppression of the penis. Well, crazy. Every last one of them. <sighs> I'm going back to my cage. It's safer in there. And no cream cheese. No cream cheese at all. These nobodies are savages. All savages. And I have no idea where the peanut butter might be. Oh. Uh, hello? Oh my god, it's another one. Um, who are you? So, we have this. I knew that we were having problems when you put those piranhas in my bathtub again You're still the light of my life Oh darling, I'm begging, won't you put down that knife? Well, I'm even more terrified of Japan now than I was previously and I didn't think that was at all possible My sweet bondage belts are heartless here don't worry, I'm a doctor. See, it says so right here on this little napkin. Diz is a doctor. That's right. Four clicks to four years of education. I get paid a hundred dollars every time I say that. I deserve more respect than this. Do you know what I have seen? Do you know what I have witnessed between the worlds in the darkness? I have beheld a pineapple under the sea! And the yellow demon that dwells within it! With his cackling screech, he was upon me so horrendously absorbent. Oh, God, I can't take it anymore. Okay, now, this is just hack writing. What kind of Mickey Mouse production is this? Is this a Mickey Mouse production? Because if you get him in this recording booth, I'll read the collective works of Flavor Flav if you want me to. So long as I get some of that sweet rodent ass. Can I have an extra biscuit? No. Please. No. But it's for Patrick. Our final interview is Patrick. He's Demix's pet Heartless, and he's kind of mean. Help! It's on my face! Get it off! It's a Heartless! <laughs> no! Halt! I am interrupting your moment of animal cruelty. They're not... Animals, you senile twat! They are too! You don't know! You don't know! So why doesn't Patrick attack you? Patrick doesn't attack me because I give him the best tummy rubs! Isn't that right, Patrick? Isn't that right, Patrick? Oh, lava. Clearly, this was all a dream. Uh, sir? A dream, Sykes. A dream as recorded by my answering machine. It's a miracle. Yes, of course. Um, can we change that greeting message now? I think not, but that reminds me of a little game we haven't played in a while. Hyrie! Traitor! Zephyroth! Yuffie! Zoroxes! Why? Axel. I'm a fool. Zemnus! You're right. <laughs>